Perfect. First of all, you know, tell us your, your feelings ahead of ahead of Sunday's game, possibly the biggest game in Everton's history for a long time. Yeah, I think I think it all hinges on tomorrow's game more than anything. Um, I think this one's this one's the one we've got to win. You know, and and hopefully we can we can get something out of it. We are looking at it though. We can possibly draw to, tomorrow and then try and pick up a point on Sunday. But for me, it's it's all or nothing tomorrow. I think I think Arsenal, even though they've dipped and you know they they've had that. Um, Situation where they they're now out of the top four and Tottenham have overstepped them. I still think that Arsenal are going to try, still try and save face as much as they can with the fans and try and keep you know get a, even if it's a point behind Spurs, they can at least say, well, okay, we finished the point behind, we didn't finish four points, and we didn't throw it away as badly as we thought. But for Ever- Everton, you know, it, it's been such a topsy turvy season in all man- manner of ways. I think it's just, I think we just got to forget forget the situation and just play the game. I think that's always, always been Everton's problem. We've always played the occasion rather than actually saying, you know, we're simply playing Crystal Palace here who are on a similar run of form as Everton. We've only won the same amount of games all season as Everton. You know, the the no they're no better than any of the, the other teams that are above us really and we are we should be capable of getting something out of it, especially the way we've been over the last few weeks at home. How difficult has it been to watch as a fan over the last couple of months? You know, I, I'm sure no fan would have predicted that Everton would have been at this position at this stage of the season. How difficult has it has it been to watch over the last couple of months in particular? Last couple of months, I think it's it's always just been we've looked at the side and gone, there's a plan here. You know, and we, we can see where Lampard's trying to take the side. And I think that's sort of galvanised between the fans and the, and the team to say, well, actually, there's something here. There's something special that can still be done with this Everton side, with this group of players. And obviously we've had, you know, serious poor refereeing decisions that have got knock on our way. You know, the, the weekend especially hasn't, you know, wasn't left a particular sour taste in the mouth. But just certain games there when you think we should have got something out of it. That's been Everton's biggest problem all season. We haven't, we've lost games and we've won games. We haven't picked up any kind of just a point or a clean sheet and just, you know, drawn at the odd game. We've struggled to get any kind of points on the board. It's either going to be, we're either winning the game or we're going to lose. And that's been the biggest problem again over the last three, four months as well. Mm. Yeah, you know, you sort of touched on it before, but the importance of tomorrow's game, um, you know, what are you? What kind of game are you expecting really? Well, like I said, play the occasion, play the, play the game, not the occasion. Don't think of it as we've got, you know, we have to win this game to get the three points. I think, like I said, this this Everton side, if you watch that game on Sunday against Brentford, up until the sending off, we've been in, we've been in full control of that game. You know, I've not seen us play that well for a, a good while, particularly at home. You know, the sending off sort of just capitulated and just, you know, exasperated all the other situation and all the other things that went on during that game. But you know, we we were in the driving seat, especially at home, and we've got that we've got that momentum behind us. We've got the fans. The fans are now behind the players where they weren't at a certain point in the season, which I'm sure you're well aware. That's well being you know well, well noted. <laughs> um, so I think tomorrow it's going it's going to be heavy. I think it's going to be a, a, a difficult game for us because I think we we will start to be we just got to relax. I think it's going to be that one where we're just going to be trying, maybe trying too hard for the opening 25 minutes, 30 minutes, just to try and get the ball in the net and get ahead and get, you know, get get a get a stepping stone in the game, which just gives Everton a chance to just settle down and settle into the game. But as I said, the way we played in those opening 20 minutes against Brentford, play like that, um, you know, we, they shouldn't we shouldn't have any problems. Um, I'd like to think that anyway, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you probably don't want to dwell too much on the negatives, but uh, if uh, you know Everton were to lose tomorrow, what does that do? You know, for the game on Sunday, what does that do to morale, to confidence? You know, what happens if if Everton do, you know, lose to Palace tomorrow? I think it's all got to be again the way we the way we played it the last few weeks. It's all been based on what other teams around us are doing, and that's a horrible situation to be in. You know, if we're having to rely on Burnley to, to drop points or Leeds to drop points, and thankfully they have in recent weeks, we've just got to pray that, you know, the the whole, the last few weeks continue for those two sides because, we're, you know, we, we could probably go we could probably go away to to Arsenal and probably get a draw, you know, given the, the, way, the way we have been playing. And 
you know, the, the results against Leicester in the previous week and Watford away, that's two away, two away game, or sorry, the home game and the away game. The away game wasn't great, but it was, you know, it, it got you that clean sheet and it got you that point that we needed on the balls. If we can go all, go go away and do the same again, maybe try and nick a goal. It, but I would, I'm just not happy the fact that it's going to, it could potentially go down to the last day, last day of the season. Yeah, I understand you're you're going on holiday tomorrow. Is that is that why you're going away? You can't bear <laughs> partly now because um, of just the fixture changes. Really, I mean, this has been planned for like nearly three years. So I'll be on the plane and I'll be landing around half time. So I'm either going to be trying to get on the Wi-Fi on the plane, or I'm just, you know, I'm just leaving. It. I'm just, I'm just not going to touch it until I'm at the hotel, and then I'll switch my phone on because I know I'll be pinged. God knows how many times throughout the night, anyway, and throughout the day. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad I'm just not here. And then Sunday as well, you know, I'll, I'll be, I'll be on holiday, but I'm just going to try and avoid it if I can. If all goes well tomorrow, if, 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 it's, if we're all right tomorrow, I won't even think about Sunday. I'm, I'm in, I'm in my flip flops just as much as the players should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, how are you feeling at the minute regarding, you know, staying up a couple of uh, maybe well, how long ago was it now? Two or three weeks ago, when Everton lost to Burnley, there was serious concern about whether actually Everton could get relegated. How are you feeling now? Are you are you confident that you will stay up, or you know, there's still that lingering doubt? It, it's still there. I mean, don't get me wrong, because we we had two chances there with Brentford and Watford to get six points, and we and we didn't. We come away with one, and that that was a big one. I mean, we could have we could have had we could have been tied up. All against Watford, you know that that a win there, and we were done home and host. And you know, there's we're not making it easy for ourselves. There's always that lingering and doubt. You know, it's like, well, what if? You know, I think after Burnley, yeah, the 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 whole pan the panic did set in. It's like, oh my god, we are we are potentially going down here. And we were just fortunate enough that Leeds have been sucked back into it. Burnley weren't picking up points despite, you know, they had that bounce for it of a few games, but then. They've had nothing since, and hopefully that continues into you know the the weekend. But I think again, it's on Everton. It's on Everton to do it. If we can possibly get a draw, a win, we need to win. But a draw would be substantial to give us something that are, you know a springboard to Sunday, where we need something out of that as well. What do you make of the reaction of the fans though, over the last you know few weeks? The, the the pictures and the videos. I mean, I'm sure you've been. There yourself, you know, what have you made of the just the reaction and the sort of galvanization of, of the, the Everton fans? It it's been a surprise, but not a surprise. I mean, it, when we look back at the games where we were literally screaming at the players saying they weren't fit to wear the shirt, they've been balled out all season. And so a, a switch just changed with the fans. It's like, listen, if the players aren't gonna do it, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. And the fans have been not short and magnificent, you know. And I know we we've criticised them over the park for, you know, coach welcomes and things like that. But, you know, it's that kind of optimism, that kind of, listen, drop everything. No one cares about anything else. It's all about this team. And, you know, encouragement works. <laughs> you know, you get, you, get, you, get more, you, get, you get more out of encouraging someone than you do chastising them. And it's worked in recent weeks. I mean, you've, got, you've got to take your hat off to the players for, you know, turning it round. But also, I'm sure the, the players will be, well, hang on, the fans have done this for us. The fans have got right behind us from, you know, Finch Farm, from outside the ground to, you know, the, the game on Sunday at home. The fans have been the catalyst in it. And hopefully that now is the the springboard and the actual the benchmark, I suppose, of what we should be doing every game. I'm not saying do coach welcomes every week because you just get tired in, in the end of them. But when it's needed and... You know, do do that outside, yeah, great. But when it's inside the inside the ground, it's got to be that cauldron. It's got to be that same kind of atmosphere that you you've done outside. And because we know we're capable of it, that should be the catalyst, and that should be that every week. We, we shouldn't be on the players' backs anymore. That's just got to stop. Hmm. And finally, then, uh, Dave, you know, just try and summarize your your thoughts and your feelings right now. Is it is it confidence? Is it nervousness? You know, what's going through your head at the minute? I have moments just literally all the way down, all, all the way through the day. I'm up and down. I'll, you know, I, I, I sleep all right, surprisingly. I actually thought I'd be giving myself sleepless nights over the last few weeks, and I've been all right. But, you know, when I'm, when I'm faced with it, I'm sat and sat down, and I'm, you know, I'll switch on BBC, and I'll go and have a look at the fixtures, and I'll go and look at the table. 
and I'll just keep just drumming it over in my mind, like, okay, if that one loses, we've got to win that. If that one draws, we've got to do this. And it's just it. It, it's not good. It's not good for mental health. It certainly isn't. But I think I'm feeling all right because I think we, what I said at the start there, from what we've been doing, the way we played against Brentford, the way we played against Leicester, Watford was a bit of a, a blip in the middle of the week. But I just think, though, if we can continue with that form, we'll continue with that that enthusiasm that Everton showed in those games, then there's no reason why we can't survive and, and stay out, you know, stay out of the, the bottom three. And I'll be back in the Premier League for another season. Yeah, well, I'm absolutely there, Devin. Less than anything, 